to freedom of assembly, freedom of speech, and the freedom to access information. And once more, we've seen the incredible potential for technology to empower citizens and the dignity of those who stand up for a better future. What was the plan? Um, the plan was to uh, uh, to get everyone on the street. Did you plan a revolution? Yeah. Definitely, this is the internet revolution. Uh, uh, I'm, I, I, I'll, I'll call it revolution 2.0. If you want to free a society, just give them internet access. Number one is that we're going to start from, you know, uh, poor areas. Uh, our, our demands are going to be all about what touches people's daily life. Because people are going to, you know, the young crowds are going are gonna to all go out and see and, and hear the unbiased media, see the truth about, you know, other nations and their own nation, and they're going to be able to communicate and collaborate together. We wanted to talk to our government. We were, you know, knocking the door. Um, they decided to negotiate with us at night with uh, rubber bullets, uh, with uh, police, uh, police sticks, with, uh, with, you know, water hoses, um, with tear gas tanks uh, and with arresting about 500 people of us uh, thanks you know we got the message now when we escalated this and it became really big they started listening to us انت عارف الدايره بتاعتك عمارتك لوحدها واصحابك وقرايبك بس قول لهم انزل معايا نزلهم خمسة ولا عشرة لو كل واحد فينا نزل خمسة وعشرة ونزل بيهم لميدان التحرير او ميدان اللازوغني او في اي حتة عشوائية حتى ويتكلم الناس ويقول لهم بقى كفاية بدل ما نولع في نفسنا تعالوا نتكلم ونسجل موقف ده هيفرق وهيفرق كتير قوي اوعى تقول مفيش امل طول ما انت بتقول مفيش امل هيبقى مفيش امل طول ما انت بتنزل وبتسجل موقف هيبقى في امل اوعى تخاف من الحكومة خاف من ربنا ربنا بيقول ان الله لا يغير ما بنفسه حتى بقوم حتى يغيروا ما بانفسهم ليه؟ ما بعرف مش علشان ان انت تبقى كويس وقاعد في حالك وماشي جنب الحيطه، الحيطه هتقع عليك وهتقع علينا كلنا. انزل وطالب بحقك وبحقي وبحق اهلك وبحقنا كلنا. A sweep of the streets, or do you think you were targeted? Uh, no, I was targeted, of course. They wanted me. What was going through your mind at that moment? I was super scared. There's been a lot of speculation about Muslim Brotherhood being involved in this uprising. How would you describe yourself and your friends who helped mobilize for the first protests on January 25th? Muslim Brotherhood was not involved at all in the organization of this. 
Muslim Brotherhood announced that they are not going to participate officially. Um, and they said if the young guys want to join, if their young guys want to join, they're not going to tell them no. How so? Well, according to the Marine Corps robotics guru, there are now more than 2,000 robots being used to fight back the enemy. There are, of course, robots to detect bombs, to disarm bombs, and to dispose of them, but also a robot whose main job is to get shot at. And now this might be the newest robot of all. It goes by the very creative name of X-47B sort of like R2-D2, and it looks like a cross between a stealth fighter and a drone. And it is that, but it's also much more. It requires almost no human interaction. It can take off and land by itself. Current drones require pilots, often thousands of miles away, to complete those tasks for them by remote control. The X-47B is even said to be able to take off and land itself on the rolling deck of an aircraft carrier. It will be able to find its target by itself. The only thing it needs a carbon-based life form for is to let it know it's okay to drop the bomb. This revolution was born from the most fundamental principles of justice, human dignity and equality. In terms of women, many people think it is a woman's civic right not to be discriminated against. For us, Article 75 is one of the most significant. It's open to misinterpretation. We think certain terms used in the text indicate a deep-seated sexism. For example, presidential candidates must not be married to a foreign Woman. The way the sentence is formulated linguistically suggests that the expectation is the presidential candidate will be male, even though in Arabic the masculine gender is used to refer to both sexes. After President stepped down, we felt there was a deliberate attempt to exclude women from being involved in the process of political transition. Women were among the thousands who took to the streets to protest, but when it came to the formation of committees like the Constitution Drafting Committee, they were conspicuous by their absence. We're concerned about the influence of Orthodox Muslims in the transition process. Organizations like the Muslim Brotherhood are reluctant to allow women or Coptic Christians to participate in the commission. Women are in a contradictory position. On the one hand, we have a clear role to play in society, but on the other hand, when it comes to political decision-making, it seems there's a deliberate policy of excluding women. When we bring up the issue of women's participation, the reaction's negative and people say to us, now's not the time to talk about women's rights. We want to make a clear link between democracy and women's participation. Otherwise, we will just produce a new version of the old political system which oppressed for so long. Good. 
Of course, and you have mentioned the role of media. Um, how would you define right now the role of media? What is your ideal uh, role of media in what we are living right now and the, the changes that we're going through uh, through technology, basically? Mm -hmm. What would you <coughs> define would be your ideal for, for this kind of media? Mm -hmm. What role would they, they have to follow? I think my simplest definition would be that the media should help people in any society to be responsible citizens. Mm -hmm. And responsible citizens armed with enough information to make them able to uh, be active members of their society and democratically active in their society. And that's obviously a challenge in societies that are not democracies. Uh, and that's why I want to expand what media means, because when, particularly when you get into the field of citizen journalism, mm -hmm. which basically means an individual who is not the old-fashioned kind of journalist. Mm -hmm. He or she hasn't been trained in journalism. He or she doesn't have an editor who's there you know, to correct or to oversee the copy. But what they've done is they've said, I'm a citizen and I want to inform my fellow citizens of things that are happening that perhaps these old-fashioned media outlets are not doing. They're not paying attention mm -hmm. to these issues. And in my opinion, that is also a way of arming citizens with information and with news that makes them responsible and active citizens.